What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we're going to be going over the patch notes for JP. Um, shout out to GC Database, which the link is in the description if you guys don't know. Um, but they have the full patch notes on their website, so thank you guys. Uh, before we get into the video, if you guys want to play Grand Cross on PC, check out my link in the description. I have a link in the description that if you click, you can download um, Blue Stacks and you can play it on your PC. I know a lot of you guys ask me how I play Grand Cross in 60 frames, very smooth, never crashing. Well, that is how. So if you guys want to do that or if you want to play that on your PC, uh, check out my link in the description. So anyways, starting out, March 12th pack notes. These update the update is coming out tonight or to morning tomorrow morning tonight whatever you guys know what I mean all right it's coming out tonight today or whatever uh here's the times which uh, I have to translate those well like transfer those to like my time zone uh, I'm not gonna do that right now because I don't I, I mean it's gonna be tonight like in the morning so I mean sometime around there I I'll I'll get the specifics later but uh anyway starting out hawk pass we have a brand new hawk pass which it's going to have a lot of good um, stuff, man. It's going to have a lot of good stuff, right? Um, the normal one is obviously free. And then the special one, 980 yen. Um, pretty sure that's what? That's between 8 and $10. I forgot how it transfers over. But um, obviously how you purchase it, there's going to be like a hawk symbol at the top. And you'll pick it. You'll have missions, right? Uh, anyways, the hawk pass rewards, right? So, for the normal rewards, you'll get gold, stamina pots, horns, SSR pendant wings, SSR pendant ears, SSR pendant part 2 GSSR ticket. So, you're going to be getting a GSSR ticket, which is actually really good, right? But, if you get, um, if you get the, um, what's called the special one, right? If you buy the, uh, ticket, they give you a lot of stuff, okay? So, you get hammers. Stamina pots, anvils, get gold, water of life, and anvils, horns, anvils. You, you'll get a whole bunch of more stuff, right? You get, and then you get two more GSSR tickets. So you get a total of three uh, guaranteed SSR tickets, right? On top of all of this other stuff, and like all of this stuff is amazing, right? And then Deanne's Joy stamp, right? So you're getting a free uh, emo. Now, um, I think. As far as rewards, this is probably one of the worst ones that we've had out of all of them. Um, I don't think it was as bad as the first one, right? The, the first one was probably the worst one, but I, they, it was the first one. They didn't really know what they were doing. But um, don't get me wrong. This one's still good, right, to buy. Um, I'm definitely going to be buying it. No questions asked. I'm going to be buying it. That's three GSSR tickets. I'm taking it. But... Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely see how good it is. Or, um, well, we'll def. I mean, after I, you know, get it and then I do it and stuff, we'll just see. But, I mean, th these are all still really good rewards, in my opinion. I think they're also really good. So, um, yeah. But, uh, there is that. The Hawk Pass Weekly Obtainable Points. Um, basically, you can get 51 points on week one if you're normal. And if you're special, you can get, you know, 81, which, okay, that's fine. Um, <clears throat> so there is that moving on. Give me a second. I need to. All right. Anyways, moving on throwback stages two and three, right? Throwback stages, um, after maintenance, um, we'll get more uh, throwback stages. Okay. Nice. Uh, and then additional characters. Now this is what I wanted to get into. We are getting two, um, original characters, two original characters. Which is, it's, it's going to be crazy, right? So, uh, let me go ahead and, uh, here's, well, let me go ahead and show you guys the link. Here, here's the ult right here, right? This is for, um, Noblesse. So, we'll go ahead and look at her. Right? Now, she is actually going to have a guaranteed banner. The other one is not. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how they're doing it, right? Well, well, we'll definitely see it. But anyways, skill one, Quebra, inflicts damage equal to 300% of attack on all enemies, fills ultimate move gauge by two orbs, okay? Uh, her skill two, La Sed, increases attack-related stats of all allies by 30% for three turns. Whoa, bro. So 
basically, um, if you guys don't know, Green Helbrum, right? Green Helbrum is the only person that had this ability. And now she does, right? So now Green Helbrum, um, what little usage he had is probably going to be gone. Because people can always just run her. So that's that's basically what's going to happen. Anyways, uh, her ultimate, uh, Triste Finn, inflicts spike damage equal to 350% of attack on all enemies. Now, if you guys don't know, that is also Gustav's ultimate. Gustav also has that as his ultimate. So, um, I mean, not too bad, right? Not too bad. Her passive, or unique, uh, Blue Wave, increased basic stats by 5% per each buff on allies and enemies. Okay, that's that's kind of a weird one because it's basically like whether your allies or enemies are buffed you get Stacks of your passive which I mean she can buff her allies, but she can only buff two allies So it's basically banking on two allies being buffed and then three enemies being buffed That's why it's limited to five times because there's only five other people that can you know be buffed anyways moving on The other unit is mono now. Let's go ahead and look at her ultimate right mono looks cool bro mono looks really cool dog she has a katana and two daggers bro or she has katanas all right but yo mono looks really cool all right i don't know about that name though anyways uh skill one fatal melody inflict sever which is double crit chance uh damage equal to 400 percent of attack on one enemy these are all three star cards by the way uh, skill 2, Biohazard, inflicts damage equal to 350% of attack on one enemy, poisons for 3 turns, which, eh, it's not that, that's not that good, because, I mean, you know, cleanse is, is just, you know. Anyways, oh, Endless Pain, inflicts damage equal to 455% uh, percent of attack on one enemy, makes target bleed for 2 turns. Okay, so she's basically um, going to be like a debuffer. Okay, ooh, ho hold on, her passive. Uh, assassin increases damage dealt by 50% if attacking enemies with bleed poison or shock debuffs wait she has bleed and poison she has but she doesn't have shock so that that was just a weird addition I guess I don't know um, anyways obtainable location mono step up banner mono pack Easton <laughs> I said her name was no bless it's, it's no place Easton. Uh, anyways, um, Easton step up banner. So you can get mono from you can buy her for from a pack. All right. So there's that. Uh, the banner's gonna be here after maintenance, obviously. Uh, rate up characters: SSR Ruler of Torrents, Easton, SSR Deathbringer, Mono. So there it is. Um, price: thirty diamonds slash multi. Step two. Okay. So step two. This is step up banner, right? Um, step two is gonna cost one diamond. Um, and step seven is going to cost one diamond and step five is a guar uh, guarantees an SSR when you finish step 10 You will start again from step one. Okay now. Uh, I'm pretty sure this step up cost um, what? 250 gems or something like that This this is a must summon banner. Okay, I'm like now the reason why is because this is a Original character banner and if you guys don't know Lilia and Valenti are both on this banner now, I have Valenti. Um, I have Valenti. I don't have Lilia. I'm, a, I'm about to try to pull her, man. I'm, I'm going to go for it. I'm only going to do one one step up, though. I'm not going to do, you know, a whole bunch. Of, I'm going to do one step up. Uh, but I'm just saying that, yeah, you you, you definitely, definitely want to summon on this banner. But look, as you can see, uh, like I said, uh, Easton is guaranteed on the last step. <clears throat> But uh, you, you're not guaranteed mono, all right? So there's that. Step up details. Uh, yeah, okay, so you can just see everything here. One gem on two and seven, guaranteed SSR on five, and then you get Easton on 10. Mileage rewards, power up stone, five star awakening stones, 10, anvils, 100, Vi visal hammers, 10. So you, you get all these rewards too for summoning. So like this, this banner just has an insane amount of value. A uh, new costume set. Obviously, they both get costumes, multiple costumes. Um, 280 yen for UR head, and body, and weapon. 60 gems for SSR head, body, and weapon. So, there is that. Um, 
individual pieces you can get them after yeah so you can get individual pieces after nice um you are 30 ssr 20 wait 60 gems for ssr okay never mind you can get I, I thought it was ur but it was sr anyways moving on okay so here's the pack for her as well uh you can get this pack for about 27 dollars i believe which um is not that bad but like it's 27 dollars for this unit I, and i don't think she's super crazy don't get me wrong she's good but i don't think she's like 27 dollars worth good now i mean some people might you know some people might spend it or spend for it that's you got it you know to each their own but uh i just don't think she's like super crazy or anything like that um new battle event battle event return plushies okay so um what we're gonna be getting another uh one of those events where you do easy normal hard then you do nightmare easy normal hard so uh and you'll get some gold chests for that new engravable characters easton mono deldry arden okay so the e easton and mono are immediately getting their engravables okay so they're th what they're doing is like they're kind of just they're, a lot of the time they're dropping units engravables on release so that's nice because they dropped derrieres on release too um ssr derriere of purity will be added to character gotcha part two banner part two gssr race ticket demon fairy goddess okay so the this is Red Demon. Oh, Red Demon. This is Red Derriere. Red Derriere is now going to be a part of the um, summon, summonable like SSR pool. Uh, chat system improvement revert. Okay, so they basically reverted the um, reverted slash changed the chat thing because the chat it was it was horrible, man. The 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 chat the way they had it was just horrible. So they actually brought back the guild button and then the chat system right there. So the guild button takes you to the guild now. You don't got to do anything crazy. Um, I'm not sure what all is going on here, uh, but yeah, this can also take you to the guild, which is nice. Also, you can get emotes, right? You also have emotes. You don't have to click the chat button anymore. You can just go straight to your emotes, which is really, really good. Bug fixes, right? They fix some bugs. Well, they fix some stuff, right? Some bugs. And then, uh, throwback battle number two, difficulty adjustment increases the cap per card usage from three to four. You'll now be able to sell purring poo medals. Nice, because I have a lot of them. And then, uh, point adjustment for knighthood hell stage clear, right? So, that is all the stuff. So, we, we I'm telling, I'm, I'm definitely excited for the banner. I will be summoning, right? Um, so yeah, uh, that's gonna be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, comment down below. Tell me you guys in the comment section below. That being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.